We asked you to send us cars that you had designed at home. And we printed them all out. And we asked you to make them as broken as possible. And we're gonna try to defeat your deck three against one. So Carl hit it. So it turns out the people sending in cards find it a little less exciting to send in lands than regular cards. So every turn, there's three of you, I will create three arch enemy lands that tap for any color. Seems fair. It's pretty good. And then, because I didn't play them, I get to play my land for turn, which is definitely not Black Lotus. What does it do? <laughs> well, <laughs> glad you asked. I have a feeling. Uh, if you tap it and sacrifice definitely not Black Lotus, I had three mana of any one color, which is definitely unlike Black Lotus. And I will use it, and I will tap two of these to play a Necrotic Engine. It's an artifact. It stays on the board, and if I pay black and black, I sacrifice a creature and put a charge counter on target creature or artifact. But if I pay green, green, I destroy all permanents with charge counters on them. So you just paid five mana where we have nothing for a very good card. So I'm going to cast a no! Force of Negation. No! You're playing against modern decks. Yeah. Yes, it's true. If it's not my turn, then I can cast it for free. I have to exile a blue card, which is this iteration. But now it says counter target non creature spell, which. Fortunate. Bye. It's exiled. Good. We've come to play. Well, you've stepped into my trap because I have another spell. I had six mana this turn. The five mana card was the trap. I'm going to play a one mana. I, we've asked them to make broken cards. It's called Abramaic Tithe. It's an enchantment. Whenever a land enters a battlefield, gain control of it unless its owner pays either one white or two life. For one mana? For one mana. It seems pretty good. It's either every land drop costs you two extra life, or I get them. Why did we counter the other card? It costs five mana. <laughs> That's that usually a good idea. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't think that the one mana card is better. That card is ridiculous. It, it's one white deal six, basically. Every yes. Time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I will pass the turn to you. Anyone else playing fetch lands? <laughs> <laughs> I'll play a Spire of Canal, which costs me two life. So yeah, man. Tight. There's taxes here. And then tap it for it and play all our favorite monkey, Ragavan. Usually, you're quite happy if you play a two and one because you get hits. Your opponent doesn't have normally six lands. <laughs> so we'll just use the formula of hope and I play a mission bubble, which now looks at the top card of your library. And you may sacrifice a creature that you don't control to emerge it. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So if uh, he would take my Ragavan, thank you very much. You're welcome. It costs four and is a one. Yes. And killed my rag event. Mm -hmm. Actually, kind of good. <sighs> Thanks, like people, it. for sending in the cards. It's a really sweet design. Yeah, it is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to play an Urza's Mine, which will cost me two life. I wanted an Urza's Mine. Yes. Uh, only taps for one mana, but eventually you'll tap for two. Well, you should have had an Urza's yours. And, and, and then I'm going to play a Chromatic Star for one mana. Can sacrifice it to filter mana to like other colors, and when it goes to the graveyard, to draw a card. So I'll have to play fetch land. Oh, and I guess uh, your trigger goes. Would stack. you like to pay two life Wait. or give it to me? Wait, you, you can just um, second in response, and then don't pay the <gasps> don't pay the life. Oh, and there is so no fetch lands are good. Oh, yes. you get oh. nothing. Oh. So in response to the trigger, I'll crack it, pay yes. one life. I'll get a forest. Would you? You can't oh. sacrifice this one. <laughs> no. Yes, I paid two life. And then I will cast a Wild McKerdle. It's a 1-1, one, one, but it gets plus one, plus one if I control a mountain, and also plus one, plus one if I control planes. So far, we cast three mana worth of cards. Before it's your turn, I will draw a card. For the bubble. Yes. I will begin my turn with my three mandatory arch enemy lands. They don't even cost me two damage. Can we? Take that from them. That would be really good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it, you need a game action for that. <laughs> easy. It was so easy. <laughs> Just commit robbery. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think that's how commander works. Does that work with the lens also? <laughs> no, let's try. I'll tap six because I get two on turn two. I will play Ever Watchful Valkyv. It's a legendary creature, Skeleton Rogue. It has Toxic 1 and Death Touch. It's a 5-5, so Death Touch is not normally that necessary. But whenever Valky is dealt damage, create that many 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature tokens. And then it has an ability called Legacy, which is as long as this creature card is in my graveyard, other creatures that share a creature type with it get plus one, plus one. So my skeletons, and funnily enough, my rogues. I'll pass the turn to you. I'll 
All right. Tip draw. So what's the plan? Mm. Well, can somebody get rid of a 5-5 five, five Death Touch Toxic 1 yeah. skeleton producing anthem? Easy, yeah. I will just dismember it. Oh! oh. I will pay oh, four lives. I will just pay the mana cost, the two black Phyrexian mana. And then I'll give this minus five, minus five. Yes. Bye bye, ever watchful Valkyrie. Well, we'll have to track because if I ever play Skeleton or Rogue, it's bigger. All right, I'm going to play in Urza's Power Plan for turn. Two out of three for the Tron Lands. I'm going to pay two life so that you don't take it. And I'm almost there. I'm also going to play two life for my island. I play a Sacred Foundry. It's a Mountains oh. and a Plains. Oh. And Woo. deals you four damage. Well, I'll let it come in tap for now. But I have uh, to pay the two life. And then we go to attacks, right? Yeah. Yes. Get monkey. All right. Well, what happens when you hit with a Hagavan draw? Monkey is hungry. Monkey time. It makes it it's treasure. hungry for a treasure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Da, da, da. And then it's hungry for the top then, part of. Let's try not to knock over this giant pile of your cards. Stack. Now we get the cool things. You get to play until end of turn. So normally you're capped by magic rules. It can be only cards that exist, but now it's so exciting. It can be anything. It could be a disciple of flame. Okay, so we can cast it, that's the good news. It's a two mana, two, three human wizard. When Disciple of Flame enters the battlefield, draw three cards, then discard three cards at random. Okay, mm, it's good for Delirium. Mm. And then for one in red, it deals three damage to that creature or planeswalker. Activate this ability only if you have discarded a card this turn. That's a really cool design. That actually looks like a real magic card. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's play. It's a bit pushed, but. Oh, ah, nowadays. Exactly. So, in this red field, I draw three cards. One, two, three, and then feel free. This one? Okay. Spell Pierce? This one? Oh, Spell Pierce. Land. Ragavan! You didn't need that one, you already have one. That's fair. So now I achieved Delirium. Thank you very much, whoever designed this card. Mr. or Mrs. Custom Card. <laughs> ah, no, it yeah. says Amino. So okay. Thank you, Amino. All right, so I'll sack my Chromatic Star for green mana. I'll draw a card with it. Mm. And I'll just play a Chromatic Sphere, which is basically another Chromatic Star. All right, then hit it, Carl. You guys did a pretty cool turn, but ha ha ha, I now have access to nine mana. Soon I'll be able to cast whatever they called Emrakul in this deck. Someone probably sent an Emrakul. People love Emrakul. I will start off by tapping three mana. And I'll play Sephira, Reclusive Reclaimer. It's a two five that can't be blocked. And whenever it attacks, I may return target creature card with mana value two or less from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. I currently don't have anything, but if I get this in my graveyard, I can bring it back. Was it a double threat? Yeah. It was. It was. Also, unfortunately, it's a ninja and not a rogue. Yeah, I know. If only there was a rogue. If only the designers of these two cards had collaborated together, I'd have a combo. Yeah, I feel like those hundred people should have coordinated. Yeah. Better. yeah. They should have all yeah. had a big chat, a big group <laughs> chat together. Get a Zoom Post call. some memes. It's called Hive Mind. Mm. Next time. I will also play Sigil, the Noble Blade. Oh, that looks nice. It does. It's a 2 4 flying Death Touch legend. I, I love how they, this person's old school. It's Summon Legend. Nice. Uh, whenever Sigil becomes tapped, target creature loses indestructible until end of turn. And uh, if I tap it, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Uh, it has Death Touch, so it's basically infinite. When I tap it, and I also remove indestructible from every, anything, so it's. Yeah, it, it, it kills it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gone. And I will pass the turn to you. All right, let's untap. Untappy, tappy. Draw. I'm just doing the fetch land trick again. I'll join. Oh, are, so neither of you gonna pay? No. Oh, tax evasion, it's running rampant in these parts. I get a steam rent. I get an island. I will pay two for your trigger and two for my trigger. Ooh, Fede, living dangerously. <sighs> I'm gonna attempt to lightning bolt the two five. You know that deals three. Yes, well, we're, I'm trying to put hope into the future. It's paying forward. Okay. I don't have a second lightning bolt. Well, there was a reason that I paid for this turn. I also have people. Oh, Safira! <laughs> the future. future works. Yes. Collaboration. I see. I admire the teamwork. Yes. So now, wait, let me let me wait. Now I hope the future also gets rid of this thing. Uh, the future? Uh, yeah, was yeah, it even the thing? I was the future. Oh, yeah. Future, future. Um, for two mana. I have a Leyline Binding. Uh, I see. And it only costs two because it's reduced mm. for every basic land type I have. And you have a four and you exile. Goodbye, Sigil. 
You yes. fought well. Well, you, you didn't have time to fight yet, but I'm sure you would have fought beautifully. So now I hope the future gives me a case with a million euros. Fini? The future? The future. Future, please. Mm -mm. <sighs> uh, Damn. All right, and instead we attack. That makes sense. Woohoo! So that Ragavan hit was too good last time. So I'm gonna pay two for a card that I think is really cool. It's called Rampant Path to Exile, and it does exactly what it sounds like it does. Because I exile target creature, and you and its controller each search their libraries for a basic land card and put it onto battlefield tapped. I would like to exile your Ragavan. Oh, that is a good card. Mm -hmm. It would be a shame if something happens to it. No, stop saying that about all my good cards! <laughs> I'm gonna have to count this bit. Oh. <laughs> I like my Ragavans. So that means my Ragavan is very hungry and wants another treasure. And another card. You get more uh, toys! Yum yum. Hopefully you can't play this one. You found a way to Whoa. make Ragavan <laughs> even better than toys. It's a four mana card market package. Isn't that that YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, card market. I heard they're a great place to buy and sell your magic cards online. It's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, create three treasure tokens. Oh, that's what you're paying with. And then you sacrifice your treasure to draw a card at the beginning of your next upkeep. Oh, I oh that would have been so good with Ragavan. Oh, no. But it's too expensive. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to in second main phase. Mm -hmm. Going to sacrifice this sphere to make a green mana. Yes. Here. Yes. Through the magic of everything. Yes. Um, yes. Going to make a green mana with the chromatic sphere. Draw a card. I'm going to use that mana to play another chromatic sphere. Oh, you, Felicia. Them. You know you've come here to do other things than just loop one mana things that draw and make mana. It's just green just, time. Just you wait. Just you wait. I'm going to cycle it again for a green mana to draw another card. If you play a chromatic star, I swear. I'm gonna play an Urza's Tower. Oh, that's so much better. What yeah, this helps for three mana now because now I have all three different Urza's lands. Tron is assembled. Yes. I don't know, so can you explain that again? Yeah, he's never really played I'm, these I'm cards. Really slow. You don't know this, but you've never played this deck before. <laughs> so um, if you get all these three lands, it's really powerful. So now you're the arc enemy. <laughs> you could win a Protor with this. <laughs> Maybe you couldn't, but some people could win a Protor with this. And then I'm going to use these three mana to play Khan the Great Creator with the green mana that is still floating. All right, so with this Karn, I'm going to go into my sideboard and help me. Do these have basic land types? All of them. Nice, then I'm oh. going to... <laughs> when Felicia does that face, you know something terrible is coming. I'm going to get a Sundering Titan for next <gasps> turn. You don't need your lands. What do you need land for? So it destroys one of every basic land type. Is that correct? Yes, five of your lands. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. For next turn. I love our turns. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going great. Good community, turns. you have to step up your game. You do have lovely turns, but you know what's even lovelier than those turns? No, community, don't do any. You're too good. I'll, I'm up at tw I'm up to twelve mana. Well, Felicia, you scared me a little. Oh, no. So, I'm gonna pay five. I think this is a preventive action. For the Questing Beast. You know the Questing Beast. This one is five mana, so it's considerably worse. But two of it is Phyrexian mana. Because Questing so Beast letters? is a four mana legend. And this person realized if it's a legendary, it should be the Questing Beast. So this one, um, I'll just read through it real fast. It doesn't do that much. It's got Vigilance, Haste, F Touch, First Strike, Flash, Flying, Hexproof, Trample, Indestructible, Life Link, Menace, Prowess, Reach, Absorb 7, Afterlife 9, Amplify 5, Annihilator 8, Battle Cry, Bushido 25, Cascade, Changeling, Convoke, Delve, Devour 5, Dredge 3, Double Strike, Evolve, Exalted, Fear, Flanking, Frenzy 4, Horsemanship, Infect, Intimidate, Mentor, Provoke, Rampage 7, Renown, Riot, Shadow, Soul Shift 6, Split Second, Sunburst, and Dine Unleashed, Combat Damage Cannot Be Prevented. It's just like the normal Questing Beast, but it's a 6-9. So when I land to the battlefield, I'll have Sunburst and Legion Riot. How much Bushido? Oh, 25. <laughs> Try blocking it. You can't, it has Shadow and Horsemanship. Actually, you only get four counters from Sunburst, so you guys do have to pay Duke Green. So it's that green, is correct. green. So much worse. Mm. It can't block Balan. anymore, Bad but design. it already had Shadow. This, the rest was uh, fine, but this one. Stop. You're forgetting I have to Cascade. <laughs> it's somewhere in there. So, you couldn't even tell me anything, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really getting a sandwich. I will um, pay. Oh, I can't. This costs five. Legion Sky Patrol. I get Feudal State. Oh boy. I have to put this at the bottom of my library in any order. But random. <laughs> Can I cut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's down there now. Feudal State says non legendary creatures have base power and toughness 1 1. Now you might notice this is a legend. It entered, right? And unleash trigger. It has haste. It had haste. But it's haste, haste, haste. And annihilator? Eight. I'm gonna attack Felicia. I'll have an exalted trigger because it attacked alone. Okay. It 
has vision. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. you it's you the see, first. It's the first one. I he doesn't <laughs> even know his cards. Yeah, <laughs> I should read my cards. <laughs> so you would take thirteen. Oh, it also has double strike, and infect probably. Yes, it has infect. Well, at least you only get thirteen life, because I die on the first swing. <sighs> All right. Bye. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Uh, you got this. Yeah. So sure. Does it have indestructible or hexproof or something like this? It has indestructible and hexproof. Oh. How, how dare you doubt the unknowns under this card? I know this looks like enough, but I want to play another card that's really cool. Oh, you agree? Yeah, it's enough. I'll play the Grays. <laughs> it's a legendary creature alien. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of the Grays, except it isn't legendary. And whenever the Grays will combat damage to a player, investigate. I'll pass to you. You got this, you can still do this. Um, non tip. So even if you get rid of the grace, Wakaman doesn't even deal damage. Does the thing maybe have like, I don't know, shadow or whatever? It has shadow. Uh, oops. It has shadow. <laughs> Why wouldn't it have shadow? Yeah, it has shadow. Wait, it's unblockable and it has shadow. Okay, wonderful. I will unholy heat the grace. The it's grace. Two damage or six if I have delirium. In that case, it doesn't matter. That's it unfortunate. They didn't get to investigate, which is kind of their whole deal. Shouldn't have chosen Earth. And then, since you can't block, we'll attack with three creatures. All of them one ones, but this still is very free because of the effect. That is indeed correct. I'll take five. So you'll get a treasure. You are becoming a very wealthy dog. All right. And this card to play this turn. A Pox Engineer. Creature, Phyrexian, Human, Wizard, three mana, oh one. Great. Huh. When Pox Engineer enters the battlefield, each player loses one life, discards a card, sacrifices a creature, <gasps> then sacrifices land, also known as Pox. Yes, I see the point. Good card. No, my questing beast! <sighs> my <Ooh>. the questing beast. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a real hero story. We found the one weakness. <laughs> oh, and I discard my chest buster. So yeah, I'm gonna pay two black. Thank you very much. Awesome. And a blue. For a Pax Engineer. Pretty good. Yeah, very good. So, end of the battlefield. Each player loses one life. Yeah. Fair. Then discards a card. Goodbye, Chestbuster. Goodbye, Lightning Bolt. Sacrifices a creature other than Pax Engineer. <sighs> okay. Goodbye, Wagner Kettle. This hasn't dying. Unfortunately, it already has a counter. It also happens to have. Oh, it had Afterlife fire. some, what, 5,000? Afterlife 9. Oh my god. So, I will put into play. 911 spirits. I wonder how they got to the number. Like after nine seems like really specifically playtested. <laughs> yeah. Ten would have been unfair. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly that would have the point. Broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, we all sacrifice a land. Oh. Now this hurts me more than <laughs> <laughs> my sacred phone. Well. Second main, I'm going to play a Windswept team. Will you? With your trigger on this deck, I will crack it and pay one life to get... He's a smart baby. A Sabai Triome, which is the final basic land type. I need it. Will you pay the tax? Yes. And then for two mana, I will cast Cyan of Draco. It only costs two because I have all five basic land types. Ooh, you got there! It's a 4 4 flyer, and it has each creature you control has vigilance if it's white, hexproof if it's blue, lifelink if it's black, first drag if it's red, and trample if it's green. So, maybe I'm not really knowledgeable, but where's the Undying Nine stuff and the Rampage? And the yeah, yours didn't come with Devour. Why didn't you put that card in your deck? You, you should, like, maybe design it better. But it has flying. It, it, <laughs> it does! It does! It, it has lifelink, right? No, it doesn't. Oh. You're, you're possibly toast. It's just a fall. So how do we survive nine tokens? Friends? Blocky. I'm a simple man. Pali. I came here in a monk's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm representing the people. Well, I'm not so simple. I get three lands on the turn. Yeah, monks. Historically, oh, yeah. Nothing says historically famous for representing the people. <laughs> Nothing says more. Okay, well, you know, maybe I should have picked a better outfit. But I don't need a card from the top of my library. Our friend, the questing beast has dredge. This means that I can mill three cards from the top, oh, this would have also been pretty good, of my library, put them in my graveyard, and instead draw Questing Beast. You know, I start to feel this card is a little pushed. I think it feels pretty good. I'll play it for five. Dredge the people's hero. <laughs> yes. 
It will enter the battlefield. I will cascade. Get a Lotus Tender at the beginning of your upkeep. Create an artifact token named Black Lotus with what Black Lotus does. And then he cascaded into a Lotus Tender. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, it has a lot of text, but right now I would like to bring attention to Battle Cry, which gives plus one plus zero to all attacking creatures. Of course, yeah. And I will attack. You will sacrifice eight permanents. No, I won't. I will sacrifice five. <laughs> <laughs> I will get, finally, Sigil the Noble Blade back. And I'll attack you with these and you with these. Join me in death. The community wins the game! <laughs> So do you think these were pretty good? Yo, f that card. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to believe that, but that's okay. Your, 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 the emotion you are feeling is felt. 